गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग हाई हेलो वेर एवर यू आर आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर गेयर अप फॉर द सी बी एस ई प्रैक्टिकल्स विच आर अबाउट टू हैपन वेल यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग वॉट एम आर डूइंग विद सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड लिक्विड डिटर्जेंट और वॉशिंग सोप विच इज़ वेरी कॉमनली फाउंड इन अव होम्स एंड वॉट एम आर डूइंग विद सम क्रश्ड प्लांट मटीरियल ओवर हेयर एंड the idea is today we are going to perform dna extraction or we are going to extract or isolate dna that is deoxy ribonucleic acid from any plant material available in your home in your fridge in your kitchen you can go in for fruits like bananas or and you know apples or pears or whatever or you can go in even for uh, plant material which is crushed onion by the way so i'm going to extract dna from this crushed onion and whatever we are going to use is very commonly available usually in our homes in our kitchen cabinets so if you have not done this practical uh, previously you were skipping classes or whatever be the case you can do this experiment at your home revise your concepts uh, procedure and prepare your viva examination also side by side so the first thing that we need to do to isolate the dna is prepare two solutions so one is going to be a sodium chloride solution so uh if at home you don't have the benefit of having a weighing balance no problem we are going to work in terms of teaspoons so roughly half a heaped teaspoon of sodium chloride and we are going to dissolve around up till 20 ml so again maybe you can take a small glass at home if you don't have marked measuring cylinders or beakers so remember to take half a teaspoon of salt in any glass container and add a quarter of hot water to it right and now what we have to do is mix it and ensure that in this boiling hot water the sodium chloride completely dissolves in so what we can also do is give it some quick swirls help it dissolve quickly and keep it aside and then the second solution is going to be the solution with washing soap liquid detergent soap and if you look into the back sometimes the ingredients are also mentioned so liquid soap has some ingredients which uh basically remove fats right uh liquid soaps or any kind of a detergent is program is designed to work to remove fats and grease from dirty clothes or utensils so the idea over here is that we are going to use 1 teaspoon of this liquid soap and again dissolve a quarter of hot water to this as well and dissolve this mixture well right so this soap will break down the phospholipids and the fats of the cell membrane and the nuclear membranes and you know why that is needed you need to break down the cell membrane the plasma membrane and the nuclear envelope by removing the fats or the phospholipids from there so that dna rna and proteins can be released so now that both our solutions are ready i'm going to keep on dissolving this so that the salt so both our solutions are ready the salt solution almost there and the liquid detergent solution and now this was a step that we have worked out so we have taken one small onion you can take half a banana as well banana is easier to work around because it's easy to mash it with a fork so you can use any plant material which is soft and easy to work with i had the access to onion today so we have macerated and crushed the onion so this crushing or fork pressing will help you break down the cell walls and we are going to take this step further so one or two teaspoons of this plant material so now we take a bigger beaker and we take approximately one teaspoon of one or slightly more yeah one big heaped teaspoon of this crushed onion in here and now we are going to add the liquid detergent 
as well as the salt mixture and now some arm workout so we are going to beat this mixture for approximately 5 maybe i'll use a stirrer yeah this is it so we are going to beat this mixture you can make a bigger glass in your house and you can just beat this mixture or if you want to quick step you can use a blender as well uh, because i can see the material is a little dense i can add some water hot water for dilution so let's prepare the steps of viva side by side why are we beating this mixture or applying mechanical stress well because we want to break down the cell walls so we are going to beat the mixture to break the cell walls why did we add the liquid detergent because we have to lyse and break through the cell membrane and the nuclear envelope why did we add the salt well the salt helps solubilize your dna that means it will help remove or it will attack the hydrate envelope of dna uh, dna and that will increase the solubility or the movement of dna into your extraction mixture so after rigorous beating let's meet after some time time out and now centuries later if you blend it with your hand but it's a good arm workout though or you could use a blender at your home uh, or a hand beater whatever so now that the onion mixture the plant mixture is nicely and thoroughly mixed and beaten with the liquid detergent and the salt solution we are going to filter or see so if you are doing this experiment at home and of course you don't have access to funnels and uh, filter papers or meshes you can use this common tea strainer which is available in most asian homes i suppose so just take another glass clean glass and just filter this mixture now why are we filtering this mixture because we want to remove the cell debris so a lot of excess cellular material has probably come in here uh, which would include um, cellulose and hemicellulose from the cell wall and other unwanted components so we are just going to filter that out and because we want to ensure better sieving we will strain the same mixture at least 2 to 3 times to get as much as a clear filtrate so let's do that so we are going to transfer the clear filtrate in a wide mouth test tube if you are at homes then you can use a glass as well and we are going to add some pre chilled ethyl alcohol some pre chilled ethyl alcohol along the walls for dna precipitation and just give it 5 minutes for the spool and the cloud of white dna to make its appearance so we are going to keep it for 5 minutes and then catch up with the results while the results develop uh, remember and ensure that if you do not have access to ethyl alcohol uh, chemical and reagent grade at home no problem we are all having access to hand sanitizers and recreational alcohol at home you can try this experiment from your kitchen cabinet as well here you have the spool of white cloudy dna Of course this is not pure DNA it will have some amount of RNA and protein impurities added in but yeah with the household stuff you can do a lot of science at home so always remember to play around your environment and learn as much as possible can you believe this is onion DNA you could do that with your saliva as well you know so all the best for your CBSE practicals and do well